great. Welcome everybody to our Sunday morning gentle. We're starting on our back today, so you can go there whenever you're ready. Take your first few moments just to arrive here. that focus come to your breath. Let your breath take over. to a place there's nothing left in your mind. You and your breath. It brings you to full focus on your mat, your practice. It brings you to full presence. Take it out to guide you, ground you to your mat. Okay, feel like you're ready. You can add that element of control to your breath. Start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Let your breath become longer, slower, deeper. As you inhale, you pull that breath all the way down into your belly. As you exhale, you push it all the way out. move with one breath, one movement. When you're ready to start moving, just take your knees, hug them into your chest. All right, we're going to do some lumbar circles here. That just means you're going to let your knees go over to the right, push them away from your body, keeping your hands right on your knees, right? Bring them to the left, and then hug them back in. So you're just circling around that sacrum, the low part of your back. Just do three or four like that, match your movement to your breath, one complete breath for each circle that you make. Inhaling to the right and back, excellent to the left and around. Next time you've got those knees hugged all the way in, just switch your directions here. Take your knees over to the left, push them away, bring them to the right and pull them back in. We're just circling around here. Same circles, just going the other way. Still massaging that spine, waking it up. Do one more here. Next time you've got those knees hugged all the way into your chest. Now you're going to take your hands to the crease of your knees. We're going to rock up. You can rock right up or if you need to roll to your side to get up, you can do that. Right, we're going to come all the way up. Now as we come up here, 
you're going to bring the soles of your feet together, right? And let your knees go out to the sides. Now, you can make this as intense or not intense as you want. If you want to make it less intense, you're going to push your feet further away. If you want to make it more intense, bring your feet in closer to your body. Now, what we're going to do from here, you're going to take your right hand, bring it outside your right hip. Take your left hand up to the sky and just with your legs in this bound ankle position, reach to the right. And then come back up, switch out your hands here. Drop your left hand back behind your left hip. Take your right hand up to the sky. Reach that right hand over to the left. Now come back up here as you come back up, bring both hands overhead and then just push your legs out straight, right? Soles your feet are towards the front of the room, and then fold here, just fold over your straight legs, reaching toward your toes. If you don't grab them, it's okay, it's early yet. Keep that C curve in your spine. Now from here, you're gonna come up, reach your hands out long, tuck your chin to your chest, right? Let yourself roll all the way down on your back, and then turn sideways here, right? And as you get all the way down to your back, then you're gonna take your knees, bend into them so that your feet are on the floor, and your hands are at your sides. We're gonna lift up, into our bridge by just pushing into the feet, lifting the hips up off the mat. And then you're just gonna let your hips float right back down with your exhale. We're gonna do it twice more. You inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, float them down. Do it one more time. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, float them down. As your hips come all the way down, now you're gonna take your knees into your chest. Give them a big hug. Put your inhale, and then as you exhale, take your arms out to a T. Drop your knees to the right as you look to the left. So take a little twist. We're not staying here, it's still part of the flow, right? So as you inhale, you pull the knees back up. And as you exhale, you drop them to the left and look to the right. Inhale, bring them back up to center. And then we're gonna begin again. So your knees come up to center. You're gonna take your hands to the crease of your knees. Rock yourself up, roll to your side, come to that bound ankle. From bound ankle. Take your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand up to the sky. Reach to the right. And then switch out your hands. Left hand back behind you. Right hand up to the sky. Reach to the left. Bring both hands up to the sky. Kick your legs out long. And then take that fold here. Maybe you're getting a little bit further this time. Now we rise up. Your hands come straight out as you bring your shoulders over your hips. You tuck your chin to your chest. Roll all the way down to your back. As you get all the way down to your back, bend into your knees, put your hands on the floor, let your, or put your feet on the floor, let your hands come to your sides, palms face down. We're gonna do that bridge flow here. So three times, you inhale, lift your hips, exhale, float them down. Inhale, lift the hips, exhale, float them down. Do it one more time. Inhale, lift the hips, and then exhale, float them down. As you inhale here, hug your knees to your chest, Exhale, let your arms go out to a T and drop your knees to the right, looking left. Inhale, pull your knees back up to center. Exhale, drop them to the left, looking right. Inhale, bring your knees back up to center. And then one more time, we take the hands to the crease of the knees or roll to the side, rock yourself up, come to that bound ankle. From bound ankle, right hand stays back behind you, left hand swoops up to the sky, reach to the left. To the right, sorry, with your left hand. <laughs> you guys are all doing it. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, drop your left hand back behind you. Reach your right hand to the left. Inhale, rise back up. Both arms overhead. Kick your legs straight. And then take your fold here. One last time. Maybe getting just that little extra bit deeper. And then peel up. Reach your hands out in front of you. Tuck your chin to your chest. Lay all the way down on your back. As you come all the way down to your back. Now you're going to bend into your knees, put your feet on the ground, hands to your sides, palms face down. Inhale, lift your hips up to the sky. Exhale, float them down. Do that twice more. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, float them down. Do it one more time. Lift the hips. Float them back down as they float back down this last time. You hug your knees into your chest. Keep your arms up to a T. Drop your knees to the right as you look to the left. Pull your knees back up to center. Drop your knees to the left as you look to the right. Pull your knees back up to center. And then from there, take your hands to the crease of your knees. We're gonna rock ourselves up one more time, right? This time we're just gonna come around into tabletop, that's hands and knees pose. Bring some pads.
padding under your knees if you need it, right? As we go through these cat cows, right? And then later on, when we come into our flow, we're gonna be down on one knee or the other a couple of times. So if that's not comfortable to you, if it's not comfortable to you with your knees flat on the mat right now, just make sure you have some padding in place. We've got those knee pads, we've got a blanket, something to make it comfortable to you. All right, let's take a couple cat cows here. As you inhale, lift your chin up to the sky, tuck your tailbone under, let your belly drop, that's cow. As you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round out your back, roll out your armpits, that's cat. And just keep moving here. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. So just find the rhythm of your breath here. Okay, you can be going faster or slower than me. You can be going faster or slower than anybody else here. Just find that place where you're moving with your breath. Take your breath and match your movements to it. Eventually, we're going to meet back in neutral tabletop. Now, as we come to neutral tabletop here, you're going to tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, come into your first down dog of the morning. As your fingers are spread wide like starfish, you have that pointer finger at the front of the mat. You're pushing your belly toward your upper thighs. You can add some movement here if you want to, bend one knee, then the other. We call that walk in the dog. Maybe you're swinging your hips from side to side. Maybe you're just staying still. Now from here, you're gonna bend your knees. Look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward, your hands. Come to forward fold. Right. So now your belly's touching your upper thighs. Your head's hanging heavy and long. Shake your head yes and no. Make sure there's no creases in the back of your neck. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get your belly to your thighs. Maybe you have a block, you put it underneath your hands. Just trying to get as deep into our forward fold as our body allows. Now we're going to go through our sun salutations here. We'll go through the first one nice and slow so you guys can get it down. Then we'll move it a little faster. We'll move it with our breath the second and third time through. All right, so as you inhale here, half lift to monkey. As you exhale, fold back down. Inhale, big reverse swan back. Come all the way up to standing. Now, as we come up to standing here, right, you're just going to take your right arm, drop it down to your right side, reach that left hand up and over. Then as you inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, take your left hand, drop it to your left side, right? Slide those left fingertips as far down the left leg as they'll go as you reach that right hand up and over. Inhale, come back up here, both arms overhead. Now, this time as you exhale, you're going to let both arms sweep down, right? So you're going to open up your palms towards the front of the room. Take those hands a little bit away from your body, right? So they're not right here. You're opening up. And then you're going to keep pushing those palms back. Push your hips forward. Take your chest and your gaze up so you're back bending, just like this. All right. And then as we inhale, we come up tall. You sweep the arms back up overhead. And then as you exhale, you're going to swan dive all the way down. Now, as you get all the way down here, right? Plant your left hand on the mat, maybe on a block, right? Take your right hand up to the sky, so you're twisting. Push that right leg all the way straight, let a little bend come into your left knee, so you feel that stretch go through your right leg. Let your right hand come down and plant, and then switch it out. Lift your left hand up to the sky, push your left leg straight, bend into your right knee. And then bring both hands back down to the mat, back and forward fold. So that's our whole sun salutation today. We're gonna do it twice more, we move it faster, we move it with our breath this time. So we're gonna inhale, take that half of the monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Exhale, drop your right hand to your right side, reach that left hand up and over. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take your left hand, drop it down, reach your right hand up and over. Inhale, come back to center. And then as you exhale here, both hands float down, palms face the front, right? And arms are a little bit away from your body. And then from there, you take your back bend, right? You're pushing those hands back, you're pushing your hips forward, you're taking your chest, your gaze up towards the ceiling. Then inhale, pull your shoulders over your hips, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, take a big swan dive, come back down to forward fold. As you get down to forward fold, plant your left hand on the mat, take your right hand up to the sky, twist to the right. Drop that right hand down, plant it, take your left hand, 
up to the sky. Let that left hand come down, plant your back and forward fold, and then we've got to do that one more time through. So we inhale, half lift to monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, one more swarm back, come all the way up. Exhale, drop your right hand, reach your left hand up and over. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, drop your left hand, reach your right hand up and over. Inhale, come back up. And then as you exhale here, let your hands sweep down at your sides, palms face forward, arms a little bit away from your body. Sink into your back bend. Inhale, come up, sweep your arms back up overhead. Exhale, swan dive it all the way down. As you come down, plant your right hand, take your left hand up to the sky. Exhale, that, I said that backwards, right? You guys don't think <laughs> Right hand's gonna come down, left hand's gonna go up. Just make sure you twist both ways, whatever I just said. And then exhale, take that left hand down, come back to forward fold. All right, so take a couple breaths here in your forward fold. Hopefully you've been able to get a little deeper into it this time, right, than the first time that we did it. All right, now here's what we're gonna do from here, right? You're gonna bring your feet just slightly wider, bring them about hip width distance apart, maybe slightly wider than hip width, that's probably the best, right? So your pinky toes aren't all the way at the edges of your mat, but your feet are slightly wider than hip width. You're still that forward fold right now. Now you're gonna bend into your knees, let your hips push back, and then take your right hand to your right knee, Take your left hand to your left knee, lean into your knees. So you're right here in this camper's pose. All right now, from camper's pose, you're gonna lean to the left, let your right hand come up to the sky. So twist to the right. Take that right hand back down, plant it on your right leg. Take your left hand up to the sky. Let that left hand come down, plant it. Now from here, right, you're gonna push away from your legs with your hands. You're gonna let those legs straighten out. You're gonna let your hands move up to the sky. As you do that, take your heels up off the mat. All right, so you're on the balls of your feet. We're not gonna stay here, right? You can just let those heels come right back down. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, go right back into camper's pose, hands on the knees, leaning forward. All right, so we're just gonna do that twice more. So keep your left hand planted on your left knee. Take your right hand up to the sky. Drop that right hand back to your right knee. Take your left hand up to the sky. Drop that left hand to your left knee. Push away from your knees with both hands. Rise all the way up, lift your heels. And then drop your heels. Take it right back into camper's pose. All right, one more time. Lean left, right hand lifts. Right hand comes back down. Lean right, lift your left hand. Left hand comes back down into your campers, push away with both hands, rise all the way up, lift your heels, and then drop your heels, take it back to campers pose. Take a deep inhale here, and then this time as you exhale, just straighten your legs and let your hands slide down, your shins to your back in forward fold. Bring your feet back perfectly hip width distance apart. Take one more half lift to monkey, and then fold back down. Now this time, as we fold back down, you're gonna keep your right foot forward. Right? Step way back with your left foot. Come in to your runner's lunge. Right? So my right knee is right over my right ankle. Left leg is nice and long. We're going to drop down to that left knee at first. So again, if you have, right, some padding, go underneath your left knee, put it there now. Right? We're going to be down on the left knee for a few poses. Be comfortable. You want that left knee back behind your left hip right knee right over the right ankle. Now here's what we're gonna do first. You're gonna bring both hands inside your right knee. I'm just gonna back a little bit so my head's on the camera. All right, so you've got both hands to the inside of your right foot. Take that right knee, squeeze it into the right shoulder. And then from there, it feels okay. What you're gonna do here, I'm moving my left hand out of the way. You're gonna take your right hand, sweep it underneath, right? So now my right hand came to the outside of my right foot. I kind of put my shoulder underneath my right knee. You can have your left hand right there. And then just squeeze that knee and that shoulder together. Get a little more intensity. If you skip that part, it's okay. All right now, everybody's gonna unthread that right arm. Both hands are back on the inside of your right foot. And then from there, with your hands on the inside of your right foot, just push that right leg straight, right? Let your right toe flip up off the mat. 
So you're in this half pyramid with your hands to the inside of your right leg. If you need to take them to the outside, put your right hand to the outside, right? Balance it out, you can. But see how it feels with both hands to the inside. You're still trying to square off your hips, roll that right hip forward, push that left hip back. Still trying to push that left hip back towards your left heel. Right? You don't want to sit all the way down on it. Create a little bit of space. Now we're going to come back forward, bend back into your right knee. Bring your right knee over your right ankle, and then bring your hands on either side of your right foot. Right? So now we're just in our basic kneeling runner's lunge. From here, we're going to rise up into kneeling crescent. So maybe, right, you take one hand to your right knee, take the other hand to your right knee, push up. Maybe you can just float both hands up, right? But you're leaning back with that upper body, right? Even if you're here, you're pushing forward with that lower body. So you get that stretch in your hip flexors. So looking up towards the ceiling, reaching your fingers back, or you're just pressing into your right knee as you kick your chest up, look back. All right, now from here, right? Bring your shoulders over your hips. Let your hands come all the way down towards the mat. All right, and just like we did in the sun salutation, you're gonna turn your palms towards the front of the room. Lean back here, look up. Maybe take your hands further away from your body. See how that feels. Now we're gonna come all the way around here. Let your arms make a big circle. Push them back, bring them up, bring them around, drop them back on either side of that right foot. All right, now from here, you're gonna tuck your right, your left toes under. Come up off your left knee. As you come up off your left knee, drop your left heel to the mat. So your left toes are pointed to the left. We're just gonna come into a warrior one. All right, so you're gonna peel your upper body up off that right thigh and reach your hands up to the sky. So square your hips towards the top of your mat. Nice seat bend in the right knee. And once you're in your warrior one, bring your palms together. Pull them to heart center. Keep that deep bend in your right knee. Just step forward with your left foot, drop it next to the right. So you're basically in chair, right? Step forward. And then from there, we're gonna twist to the right. I stepped all the way up the camera. You're gonna bring your left elbow toward your right knee. So twist toward the right wall, right? Thumbs at heart center, chest open. Now we're gonna untwist here, just come to your regular chair. All right, chest pointed forward, hands at heart center. Keep your right foot where it is. Step back with your left foot, drop that left heel to the mat. And this time you're gonna lay your hips open towards the left wall and take your arms out long. Just come to warrior two. You keep bend in your left knee, or your right knee, sorry. Sending your right knee towards the pinky toe side of the foot. Look right over the middle finger on your right hand. All right, now, keep everything where it is in your lower body. Just start to reach forward with your fingertips, right? Like we do when we're trying to come into a triangle. Try to reach as far forward as you can with your right fingertips. When you can't get any further, just let that right arm come down on the inside of your right leg. If you want to drop your right elbow to your right knee, you can. Take your left hand up to the sky, and then maybe you can reach it up and over. So we're here in this side angle. Now from side angle, all you're going to do Push your right leg all the way straight. Don't move your feet, right? So your right toes are still pointed forward. Left toes are still pointed to the left. Take your hands up to the sky. Your hips are all the way to the left. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Pull it towards the back of the room into your sky archer. All right, now I'm gonna turn this way. This part, so we're here in sky archer, right? Now, you're gonna release your hands. Take them up to the sky and then take them out to a T. All right, from there, you're gonna bend deeply into your left knee, so towards the back of the room, and then lean forward, right? So push your glutes back, so your chest is parallel to the ground. It's a flying skabasana. Now keep your feet where they are, but push your left leg all the way straight, bend into your right knee. So now you're taking this flying skabasana towards the front. All right, do it one more time, push that right leg straight, Bend into the left knee, come back to where you were. Right? And then from there, you're going to let your hands come down inside your left foot. Walk it back around towards the top of your mat, towards your right leg. Right? So you're coming back into your runner's lunge. And then as you get into runner's lunge, you can keep the left knee up or you can drop it down if that feels better. But you're going to plant your left hand on the inside of your right foot and take your right hand 
up to the sky. So you're going to twist his lunge. So left hand stays down, right hand goes up. Oh, this towards the right wall. That's it the other way. <laughs> no, I'm still like it. So now, from there, you're just going to let that right hand come down outside your right foot. And then you're going to come up off your left knee if you're down, right, and just step your left forward to meet your right, come back to forward fold. All right, now we're going to do that all again on the other side. All right, so from here, you're going to keep your first take a half lift. Let's reset the back. Pull your shoulders even with your hips. I thought Karen do it. I'm like, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> She's used to me. Fold back down. All right, now keep that left foot forward. Step your right foot all the way back. All right, and then let your right knee come to the mat. You want that right knee to be back behind the right hip. You want that left knee to be right over the left ankle. Bring both hands to the inside of the left foot. All right, so you're squeezing that left knee in towards the left shoulder. Now from here, if it feels okay, take that left hand, sweep it around back behind your ankle, so you're kind of tucking that left shoulder underneath your left knee, All right? And then squeeze them together from there. If that's not great, just stay where you are in the dragon, All right? Keeping your left hand to the inside of your left foot and squeezing your knee and your shoulder together, All right? Then bring that left hand back around, both hands are on the inside of the left foot. We're gonna shift to our half pyramid here. So let your left leg straighten, let your left toes flip up off the mat, square your hips, Push that right hip back toward your right heel. When you square your hips, that usually means here that you gotta push that right hip back or push that left hip back. Push the right hip back. Let's push the leg away. Push the right hip back as you draw the left hip forward so that everything stays square. All right now we're gonna come back forward here, bend back into that left knee. Bring your hands back around. Now you're gonna take your hands to either side of your left knee and we're gonna come up into our kneeling crescent. You can take one hand at a time, or you can take both hands, right? Rising all the way up. If it feels okay, you can lift your hands up to the sky. If you want to keep them on your knee, keep them on your knee. All right, start to lean back here just a little bit, just like this. All right, pushing your lower body forward, pushing your upper body back. Maybe it's here with your hands on your knee, straightening out the arms. And then from here, bring your shoulders back over your hips, right? And then take your hands down. Let your hands come back behind you. Right, palms are open, shoulder blades are pulling together, hands are a little bit away from your body. Maybe you lean back here and look up. And then push those hands all the way back, make them circle all the way around. Drop your hands back down on either side of your left foot. Now tuck your right toes under here, come up off your right knee. And then drop your right heel to the mat. We're gonna come from here into warrior one. Right, so you got that deep bend in your left knee. Just peel your upper body up. Square your hips towards the front of the room. So wear one. There we go, right? Now bring your palms together. Pull them to heart center. Just take a step forward with your right foot. Bring it next to the left so that you're here in your chair. Exhale, sink low in your chair. Take a deep inhale. And the next time you exhale, you're gonna take that twist over to the left this time. We're gonna bring the left elbow over towards the right knee. Now your thumbs are at heart center. Keep looking right straight at the left wall. Now we're gonna untwist here, come back into your chair. You're gonna step back with your right foot. Right, let that right heel land on the ground and then just curl your arms open into warrior two. Deep, deep bend in the left knee, sending that left knee towards the pinky toe side of the foot. Arms long, look at yourself in the mirror. You should be able to see your right arm right now, right? Just your left arm. Start to reach those left fingertips towards the front of the room, right? Keep your lower body where it is. Just reach those left fingertips as close as you can to the mirror. When they can't get any closer, drop that left hand down on the inside of your left leg. Take your right hand up to the sky. If you want to bend into your left elbow and put it on top of your left knee, you can do that. Maybe you reach those right fingertips towards the front of the room. Maybe they stay where they are. All right, now we're gonna pull it up from here into Sky Archer. So you push that left leg all the way straight 
Take both hands up to the sky. Grab your left arm, stay right hand. Pull back. Lean into your sky archer. So you're pulling towards the back of the room. I'm gonna turn it here so that I'm facing. All right, now release your hands here. Take them out to a T. All right, bend deeply into your right knee and lean forward. Come going towards the back of the room. Bend into that right knee. Arms are out to a T. Then start to lean your chest forward. So you're getting your chest parallel to the ground, getting the crown of your head towards the mirror. Now push into that right leg. Bend into your left knee. Same thing here, right? You're leaning over. Bring your chest parallel to the ground. Do one more time. Push that left leg straight. Bend into your right knee. Come to your flying skandasana with your arms out wide. Then release your hands, drop them down inside your right foot. And there you're going to yo-yo walk back towards the top of your mat. So you're walking hand over hand. You're pushing that right leg straight again, bending back into your left knee. When you get to where your hands are inside that left foot, right, you're going to keep your right hand planted inside your left foot. Take your left hand up to the sky. And you have options here. You can let that right heel lift off the ground, or you can drop that right knee to the ground. Right. Either way, shoulder stack, chest open towards the left side of the room. Right, let that left hand come down outside your left foot. Tuck your right toes under, come up off your right knee, and just step your right foot forward to make your left. Come back to forward fold. This time as we get to forward fold, you're going to toggle your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. Turn your heels in and your toes out. I'm just grabbing a block because we're going to drop down to Melissa. And maybe you want a block to sit down on. Right? Maybe. If that doesn't feel great, if you don't have a block, or it doesn't feel good to you with or without the block, your option here always is to drop down to your hips and come to that bound ankle. All right, so I want you to find somewhere where you're comfortable, where you're going to be able to hang out for the next couple breaths. Close your eyes, take these breaths to reconnect with your breath. All right, so notice if you still have full control of your breath, and if you still have that focus on your breath. You lost you those things while we were flowing this is your chance to get it back slow your breaths again lengthen your breaths again deepen your breaths again more breath here. And then we're all going to be back in tabletop, right? So come around into your tabletop. All right, now, as you come to tabletop, right, we're just going to do a couple core things here. Right, so this is to get us ready for the other thing we're going to do. You're going to tuck your toes under, right? Let your toes go onto the mat. And then just lift your knees an inch or so up off the mat. Right? So you've got your toes pressing into the mat. You're lifting your knees, just hovering there. So you're still in tabletop otherwise, right? Shoulders over the wrists. Take three more breaths. Let your knees come down. Let your feet flatten. All right, now, from here, take your right arm, wrap it around behind your back. All right, take that right foot, step it out to the side. You're going to bring that right foot around. What we're doing here is trying to get ourselves back into kneeling runner's lunge. So you're bringing that foot around. You can take little baby steps, or if you can swing it, go for it. All right, so you get that right knee right over the right ankle. You're going to unwrap your right hand. Now your right hand's coming to the inside of your right foot, just like we did before, right? Now, what I want you to do here, right, is see first if you can come up off 
that left knee. So tuck your left toes under. See if you can pick your left knee up. It's already your core's working a little bit. And maybe that happened or maybe it didn't, right? Wherever you are, see if you can take now, like we did before with our knee down, that right hand underneath your right heel. Right, so you're wrapping around, so you're trying to tuck that right shoulder underneath your right knee. Take your left hand as far out to the left as you can. Right? And then see if you can come up just into little cupcake hands. I feel like I'm too angled too far over. <laughs> so you're coming up into little cupcake hands on your left hand. Right? So that means you've got just your fingertips on the ground, your palms off the ground. You're trying to take as much weight as you can off your left hand. Just hold here for two more breaths. And then we're gonna let ourselves come out of it, right? You can drop that left knee, move that left hand back in, unthread your right hand, and then just swing that left leg around, come back into tabletop. There you go, you guys all did it. All right, now we're gonna try it on the other side. So, I'm gonna angle myself here. All right, you're gonna take your left hand, wrap it around behind your back. Take that left hand, step it out to the left. And then you're gonna bring that left foot around next to your right hand, right? Maybe you can do it in one smooth step. Maybe you gotta give it little baby steps and bring it around. All right, so you want that left knee over the left ankle. I see, I angled myself to the wrong side. What I really wanna do is be way over here. All right, and then once you're there, right, you got that left knee over the left ankle, right leg nice and long. You're gonna take that left hand, bring it down, bring it to the inside of your left foot. Now, first thing here, we're gonna see if we can lift that right knee up off the mat. Make sure your core start working. If you have to keep your right knee down, you can do this whole thing with your right knee down, right? See if you can take your left hand, thread it underneath your left heel so you're trying to get that left shoulder underneath the left knee. And from there, take your right hand as far to the right as you can. And then see if you can come up to little cupcake hands here, just on your fingertips, taking your palm up off the mat. Just hold for three breaths. Two more. When you're ready to come out of it, drop that right knee down, move that right hand back in, and throw that left hand, and then bring it all the way back around into tabletop. All right, now from here, we're back in tabletop. We're gonna come into our pose here. It's called shoelace. We've done it before, but it's been a little while. So one way that you can come into shoelace from, is from tabletop, right? And you take that left knee first. You're gonna pick up your left knee, take it to the outside of your right knee, right? So you cross at the knees, and then you take your feet as far apart from each other as you can, and then you walk it back, you land down on your hips, right? So I'm sitting in between my knees, my right knee is on top of my left, right? Now, you have other options here if that wasn't smooth, right? You come around, you could be here from hook line, grab onto your left ankle, pull it so that your left heel comes back by your right hip, Step that right foot over, grab onto your right ankle, and then pull that right knee on top. Now, if your knees don't come right on top of each other, that's okay, right? If you've got a little bit of space, but it's comfortable to sit here, that's right. You've got those hips down on either side of your, or inside your heels, then you're good, right? If none of that is going on and you like want to kill me right now, then <laughs> you're just going to come to easy sit, and it's okay. Just make sure your right leg's in front. So you can be here in easy sit, or you can be in the shoelace. Wherever you are, right, you're gonna take your hands up to the sky, and then we're just gonna fold forward over that right thigh. The more you walk your hands forward, the more you're gonna feel. It's a stretch of the right hip, even if you're just an easy sit, right, you're gonna feel it in your right hip. Let's take three breaths here. Here, let's unwind our legs, right? And you're gonna take your legs out super wide, wide as you can. Angle myself a little bit here so you can see. As wide as you can possibly take your legs, right? And then take your hands right in the center and you're just gonna walk it forward 
into your wide forward fold. So walk your hands as far forward as you can, keeping your back straight. That spine straight. You don't want to tuck your chin to your chest. Try to drive your head down. Don't round down. Right? You're trying to bring your chest forward. Maybe you can drop down to your elbows. Maybe you're up on your palms. Maybe it was all you could do to get your palms in front of you. That's okay. Right? You want to feel this in the inner thighs. As long as you're feeling that, you're doing the right thing. So let's take four breaths here. Now slowly come up here. So we come all the way up here. Right now we're gonna come back around. Now we're gonna come back into that shoelace on the other side. So if tabletop was good for you, come back to tabletop. If tabletop didn't work for you, but you were able to get into it, you wanna go there from hook line, do that, right? Or just come to easy sit with your left leg in front. Right? If you're coming from tabletop, come to tabletop. This time we take the right leg over the left and then you take your heels as far apart from each other as you can. You walk it back, let yourself sit down so that your left knee's on top. And again, if you're just coming from hook line and you're here on hook line, right, you're grabbing a hold, you're reaching underneath your left knee to grab that right ankle with the left hand so you can pull that left heel back, or sorry, that right heel back against your left hip, right, and you're stepping over with your left foot, grabbing onto your left ankle with your right hand, pulling it back, right? So find your place, whether you're in this shoelace or you're in easy sit with your left foot forward left leg forward, right? We're gonna take our hands up to the sky and just fold over that left leg. back up here and then from here we're just gonna unwind everything right now we're gonna lay down on our back and finish off with our inversions right, so take your toes to the very top of your mat take your arms out long tuck your chin to your chest you're looking at your belly and then let yourself lay all the way back down right, so now I promise you're staying down right for the rest of the class but we got to take our hands to our sides with our palms face down Walk the heels a little closer to the glutes. Push into the floor with your feet so you can lift your hips up off the mat. And we're here in bridge. Tuck your shoulders at least slightly so your chest pops open. If from there you want to make it a supported bridge and slight block under your hips, you can do that, right? If you want to stay unsupported, stay unsupported. You've got your shoulders at least slightly tucked. Either way, right? If you're unsupported and you want to make it a lot deeper, you can work one entire shoulder than the other underneath your body. Clasp your hands underneath your body that pushes your hips even higher, right? So that's an option if you want it, you don't have to take it. You can just have your hips up and your shoulders tucked, or you can have that block under your hips for supported bridge. Whichever version you're in, we're increasing the flexibility of the back, right? either by using the strength in our legs or by using the leverage of that block. Take three more breaths here, wherever you are. And then on your next exhale, you're gonna let the hips float down nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Now this time as we inhale, we're gonna kick our feet straight up to the sky. So you're coming to waterfall. Flexing your feet like you're gonna step on the ceiling. If you wanna take the block and put it underneath your hips here, you can. Actually it makes it more intense here, right? Because we're in this support, supported waterfall with our hips elevated. 
right? You can have your hips flat on the ground. If you really want to make this more intense, you always have the option to go to shoulder stand where you lift your hips up on your own, put your hands in the small of your back. So you're supporting yourself on your shoulders and your forearms, All right? So you can be in shoulder stand, you can be in supported waterfall, you can be a regular waterfall, listen to your body. It will tell you what version of the inversion it wants here. We're all getting our feet above the head and the heart, sending the blood from the feet. Where it pulls all day back to our hand and heart where you get more. Ready to come out of this, we're all gonna come out of it the same way. Bend your knees, let them scrape right along your face and body. Slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. All right, from there, lift your hips up, slide that block out from underneath you, let your hips float down to the mat. From here, we're gonna come to our head baby. So if you saw that block, I said that right, if you saw that block, take the block out. Everybody's hips should be flat on the ground and we're going to take our feet up to the sky again this time you're going to separate your feet maybe slightly maybe a lot that's up to you bend your knees maybe slightly or maybe a lot that's up to you we'll reach that same foot with the same hand if you're not grabbing your foot grab your ankle your shin your knee all good or if you've made that connection right you want to roll forward a little bit to so feel the sacrum the low part of your back press into the mat and then from there just start to rock from side to side give yourself a little spinal massage it should feel good as you do the rock if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. You can just stay still. Just find somewhere where this pose feels really great to you. Maybe you take your legs wider or straighter, or bend them more, bring them in more. From here, we're going to take our knees, hug up into the chest. And then, like we did the opening flow, right? We're going to take a final twist here, but this time we get to hold a little hold it a little longer. So take your arms out to a T, drop your knees to the right as your chin and your gaze go to the left. You can keep that, you can take that right hand, press down on your knees if that feels good, or you can extend your legs toward your right fingertips, or you can just stay where you are. All good options. finish off with this twist just because it seals up our practice lets our bodies remember everything that happened today so next time we come practice yoga everything's easier we're able to go everywhere deeper on your next inhale bring those knees back to center give them one final hug into your chest and we'll set up for our final pose our shavasana Right? So you're going to let your legs go out long, let your hands come to your sides. That's your traditional shavasana, just laying flat on your back. You don't have to stay there if it's not most comfortable to you. You can bend your knees, you can butterfly your legs. You can roll to your side or your belly. Just be somewhere where you're perfectly comfortable. You're going to be able to stay perfectly still, where your mind is going to be able to go perfectly quiet. If you're here in the studio and you want a little spritz of sea salt on your towel, controlling your breath anymore. You're just letting your breath do what it wants to do. Release it. Let it begin to guide you. 
even as you're releasing that breath, as you're allowing it to guide you, right? For that to happen, you need to keep your full focus on it. So keep noticing your breath, keep observing your breath, pay attention to what it's doing. Let yourself follow it, let it take you right to that place where there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath. Leave it there. That's your true quiet of mind. slowly start to come back into the room wiggle your fingers your toes feeling that increased sensation that comes with the quiet mind if you want to here you can take your arms overhead do a nice full deep body stretch and from there we're going to roll over onto the right side in a fetal position take a couple breaths right there just to reacclimate to our space the sights and the sounds of the room come back to you. Take as long as you need right here. Then when you're ready, when you're ready, push yourself up to seated and we will close here. <laughs> we'll close with our two Bamari breaths and then an O an ohm. The Bamari breath we inhale as we exhale make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. The ohm is the universal syllable. It uses all parts of the throat. You can join me in these breaths or you can just listen. But let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. Hmm. Inhale again. Inhale one final time and O. Oh. Oh. Let your eyes drift open. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this morning. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. I will see all of you on Wednesday night for some yin. Liza's here tomorrow morning for some payo. Heidi's here tomorrow night if you need more gentle. So, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you Wednesday.